Pulp stones are cal calcifications of the dental pulp, microscopically present in the majority of teeth, but are only radiographically visible when they are at least 2 to 3 millimeters in diameter. There are no known causes. Types of pulp stones. There are true pulp stones, which are dentin-lined with odontoblasts. False pulp stones, which are mineralized degenerating cells of the pulp. Free pulp stones, which are stones not attached to the walls of the pulp space. Adherent dent pulp stones are stones attached to the wall but not enclosed with a dentin. Embedded pulp stones are stones enclosed within the secondary dentin of the canal wall. Clinical findings of pulp stones. There are no clinical symptoms and no clinical signs as they are asymptomatic. Demographics of pulp stones. There are no statistical differences between sexes. Stones are most common in the maxillary molars. The prevalence of stones increases with age. Some research has suggested that there is a correlation between certain systemic diseases and pulp stones. As you can see in the chart, group 1, which is cardiovascular diseases, has the highest percentage of teeth with pulp stones at 15.8% of the teeth tested. There's an average number of right around five pulp stones for each patient. Group two diabetes mellitus has much lower with 8% and 3.5 pulp stones per patient. Autoimmune diseases has 7.63% with pulp stones and 3.3 pulp stones per patient. Group four, which is dental wear defects, has a higher 10.94% and almost 4% or almost four teeth have pulp stones in them. And the group five, which is a control, only has 4.76% of the teeth with pulp stones and 2.8 for tooth. When radiographically diagnosing pulp stones using the lesion acronym, what you look for is the location is within the pulp chamber and canal of any tooth, most prevalently the maxillary molars. The edge is well-defined and it has well defined to diffuse margins. The shape is round to ovoid or conforming to the shape of the chamber canal. The internal structure is radio opacity of dentin. Uh, it usually doesn't involve other structures, but the larger pulp stones may change the shape of the pulp space. And the number appears as single or multiple entities. Differential diagnosis for pulp stones is pulpal sclerosis, and that is the only one. Pulpal sclerosis are also radiopaque calcifications found in the pulp chamber of the canals. The one way to differentiate between pulpal sclerosis and pulp stones is that pulpal sclerosis will not alter the shape of the pulp space. There are no treatment options currently for pulp stones because they have no clinical signs or symptoms. But however, if endo is to be done on the tooth, the pulp stone may have to be removed to have a successful endodontic treatment. And that is all we have today for pulp stones, and listed below are our resources that we used for this PowerPoint presentation.